Welcome back. We're back. We're down to our last few minutes here on a special edition of the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. Let's jump right to the phone lines. We got Mary in West Leechburg. Mary, you're on the Nightly Sports Call. Hey, I have a totally different view on this. Okay. First of all, I mean, I understand that Rudolph is a handsome, wonderful guy. He's got all the staff. But he's another Ben, and I don't mean Ben when he took us to win Super Bowls. I mean Ben now, where he doesn't leave the pocket. Now, let's look at the first half. It was Dobbs. And I think if you had the right coaching and you gave him the benefit, he's the one that's going to be able to take off and run and do what the Steelers is known to do when they win a Super Bowl. Well, Mary, appreciate the call. That's actually a pretty good point. It, it is worth noting that Josh Dobbs and Mason Rudolph, great Mason Rudolph, are not the same kind of quarterback. Josh Dobbs is the kind of guy that can make plays with his feet. He's been doing that since he was in college at Tennessee. He was in that spread kind of offense. He was relied upon to make plays with his feet, not only just with his arm. Mason Rudolph is a little bit different. Played at Oklahoma State air raid type of offense. In the air raid offense, it's a little bit different than the spread. In the air raid, you're expected to make decisions quickly. The ball gets out quickly. And a lot of times in the air raid, they stretch the field horizontally to stretch it vertically. So they're going to make plays in small space and try to get yards after the catch and get guys in open field to make plays that way to get up field. And you saw, you, you see that reflection a lot in Mason Rudolph, which probably helps with why he's able to, to make those decisions a lot faster and why he's able to get the ball out. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's really where the game is trending now. Ben Roethlisberger, for example, this is probably a stat that a lot of people don't know. Ben Roethlisberger last season had the fastest time as far as getting the ball out of his hands in the pocket. I think it was around a little bit more than two and a half seconds per snap. That was one of the best times, if not the best time in the league. So it's not as much of a reflection on Mason Rudolph as it is on the offenses that he's played in, both in college and with the Steelers, where the emphasis now is on getting the ball out quickly, keeping your quarterback clean, and that way the pocket doesn't collapse too quickly. Now, granted, with Josh Dobbs, if he is under pressure, yeah, he can tuck it and run, and that's the advantage that he has. But with Mason Rudolph being able to play in the pocket, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just a little bit of a different feature from a guy like Josh Dobbs. Let's move over to Walter in Pittsburgh. Walter, you're on the nightly sports call. Um, yes, sir. My question is about Mike Tomlin. I mean, everybody knows that he has like a one-year contract. Now, let's say that the season is messed up with the Rooney's fire room. Actually, he just got an extension before the season started. So that's not entirely accurate. And I don't see him going anywhere. He probably doesn't get extended if they're thinking about getting rid of him after this season. If that's the case, he comes into this season with just that extra year on his contract. But he was extended for an extra year. So that's that right now I don't think is the thing that you worry about. And more importantly, let's worry about that when we get there. With this team right now, the way it's put together, they finally fixed fix the problems that they had all last year. These were problems, there were problems that this team had two seasons ago that they didn't fix last year, and they finally fixed this year. Not to mention the fact there's a drama element that everybody talks about, and they think it's addition by subtraction. That's another thing that comes up. Whether or not that makes a difference on the field, I don't know. Here's the thing. Can you replace the production of the guys that weren't here last year? Can you replace the production of a Le'Veon Bell? I thought James Conner did a pretty good job when he was healthy, got himself into a Pro Bowl. Can you replace the production of an Antonio Brown? That's going to be the more difficult part because this guy in five or six years had numbers that no other receiver in the league had. So now you got Juju Smith-Schuster who has to come in and fill those shoes, but he made a Pro Bowl last year too, so who knows? So when you have guys that are able to fill the holes that were left for this team, and it seems like there are more guys to fill those holes now, any coach is going to look better. That, that's really the thick of it. And that goes for Mike Tomlin. That goes for Pete Carroll. That goes for Sean Payton. That even goes for Bill Belichick. You have to have the right guys that can fill the holes that are necessary to make your team a lot better. And here's the thing that actually encompasses all of it. Not only when it comes to having the right players to fill holes, you also have to have the guys that hear the message that Mike Tomlin's putting out. And this is something that's going to shock a bunch of people. But there's a lot of players around the league that respect Mike Tomlin, that would love to play for Mike Tomlin. And I'm not just making that up because he's coaching the Steelers. If you go around the league, just talk to different guys. And don't, don't mention him. When he's brought up in conversation, when he's asked about it by reporters, they talk about how they respect him and how they actually really do respect him as a coach and would love to play for him. That's why they're able to bring in guys like Steven Nelson. That's why they were able to bring in a guy like Joe Hayden, who was really, really eager to play for a coach like Mike Tomlin. So, yes, if we're talking about 
the possibility of what can, what can happen down the road in this league. It takes one or two good plays that can make the difference in your season or one or two bad plays that can make the difference in your season. The difference is how often are you in those positions to do the right things to put you in better position in games to win games. That's really what it comes down to. In the meantime, that is it for us. We are out of time. Thanks, everybody, for calling in. Thanks for your calls. And thanks for joining us here on a special edition of the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. We're just moments away from KDK News at 11. Join us during the sports report. We're going to have highlights from this game. We'll have post-game reaction from the players as well. Plus, we'll hear from Mike Tomlin. In the meantime, I'm Josh Taylor. Good night, everybody.